guys! So, in this video, I would like to share with you my journey on completing my final project in August, the most hectic month of my year in the University of Glasgow, and how I managed to avoid too much stress by taking time to relax and travel around Scotland. In these last terms, postgraduate students like me are staying up late and then making a lot of revisions for our final projects based on our supervisor's feedback. It's quite stressful, but walking around the city and then road tripping to beautiful places for a day away from our studies has managed to relax my mood and brain. So, me with my two other flatmates were studying in the School of Social and Political Science and our submission deadline is the 2nd of September 2024. On top of that, we should move out of our flight by the 1st of September 2024. That's why we decide to focus to submit every responsibilities, academic responsibilities like submission and everything by 31st of August 2024. So that's why in the beginning of September, we can focus on moving out. For your information, most accommodations in Glasgow are offering a yearly rent. As I'm not sure whether I'll be here after graduation or not, I cannot extend my stay for another year in this flight. A lot of international postgraduate students are in the same position. That's why we're moving to stay for our final months until graduation in the monthly run flight to keep our options open in case we stay in Glasgow. Plus, aside from moving accommodation, it's exhausting to just focus on completing my final project. So me with my two other flatmates, we decided to spend our weekend putting my project and their dissertations out of our mind and travel to beautiful places which are not crowded but worth visiting and of course not so far from Glasgow so it can be like a one day trip. What is very important in completing our academic responsibilities is that we hit our weekly target so we won't be bothered by our dissertation when we travel. In my case, I'm doing practical journalism project. This requires me interviewing contributors, doing research, writing news script, filming footages, recording me speaking on the screen, then editing it. In this case, I can balance between working in front of the laptop and working in the field. However, I need to write a lot as well. Well, unlike other masters, it's not over 10,000 words dissertation, but I need to write 4,500 words reflective report along with the video journalism project to complete my degree, which means that I'm also writing a tiring long papers. That's why I'm focusing on finishing the video first and then we'll make the report at the last week of August. So here's what I do. In the first week of August, I focus on completing my script. I had done most of the interviews in July and the last one was conducted in this first week. As I realized that my brain, mood, and spirit function well in the morning, I always wake up around 9am for scripting. On Friday of that first week of August, I went to my contributor's office at 4pm to conduct the interview and took some footage around Glasgow City Center while I was there. This helped me save time and energy for filming. I completed my target for this week, which was finalizing the script. So, me with my friends went to travel the next day to the Falcon wheel which took only an hour to get to and back from Glasgow. We rented a car in Glasgow City Center which cost us 55 pounds for a day and 20 pounds for a fuel. We were five people so each of us spent 15 pounds for the ride. We firstly visited the Falkirk wheel and took some photos and videos there. The next place we visited was Scottish Lavender Oils in Kinross, which took an hour from the Falkirk Wheel. We paid £15 for the entry ticket and tour package. Then we spent all afternoon picnicking there. It was so fun and the weather was so good that day. Sparing your time in summer for traveling is a good idea. By the way, it's sunny anyway today, so it's very good. We spent the entire Saturday traveling, so Sunday is a streaming day. This is good to chilling my brain before returning to my main responsibility and of course, final project. I spent my second week filming and revising my script according to my supervisor's feedback. The filming area took place in the uni and city hall where I spoke on the screen and also took some footage in my contributor's department. Some of my interviews were conducted online, so this week is a filming week. Welcome to Aberdeen! I spent my second August weekend in Aberdeen in the north of Scotland to visit my friend and it's only a few hours travel from Glasgow. I used this chance to also visit Stonehaven to see the sea which is close to Aberdeen. This place is quite similar with Nusa Penida in Bali, Indonesia so this has made me miss my hometown. It was great to be beside the sea and out of city. Then I returned to Glasgow on Sunday so I could meet my supervisor on Monday to show her my video. It's Indonesian. We are kind of beach cores, love sea, like everywhere in Indonesia will be surrounded by the sea and thank God in the UK, 
in Stonehaven, Stone Tower. We'll also find this beautiful sea. And there is the kiss. In my third week, I focused on finalizing my entire production as I targeted myself to focus on the report in my final week. I refilmed, re-edited, and revised many things before sending the final revision to my supervisor on Friday. Since I always balance my project and traveling, I spent my weekend explored Glasgow City Center with my friends. In my last week, after completing my video, I focus on finishing my report and send it to my supervisor as soon as possible so she will have time to observe it meticulously. This also gives me extra time to pack as there are so many things to move to my new flat. So guys, this is how I survive August, the most hectic month of my year as a master's student in University of Glasgow. Balancing my time between projecting and traveling is my way to avoid stress, being more focused, being more positive, and of course being more productive. I hope this video has been very useful for you to know how it feels like to complete your degree in University of Glasgow while at the same time where you're living here you can still enjoy and travel to a lot of beautiful places in Scotland. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video. Bye!